Richard Lloyd is joining us tonight. Are you, are you there, Richard? I am. Sounds, Hi. You sound good, man. Thanks for being here. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for having me. Where are you at tonight, physically? I'm in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's right. Okay. I remember from our last discussion that that's where you reside now. That's where I've been, yeah. Hunkered uh, away. Yeah. Your, your old friend Bill Carlton and I and Tracy had a chat last week. Uh, the gunslinger joined us for a little pre-promotion. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you know we uh, we're always happy to hear your music, of course, and uh, all through the years we've been uh, doing just that, playing it on the radio, listening to it, and the countdown is like your most recent work, and you know we can talk about the past all all day, but I want to talk about the newer stuff so people that aren't aware can be aware. Yeah, the uh, newest records on Plowboy. And uh, sad to say, the guy who uh, produced it with me uh, passed away not long ago. That is a bummer to hear. Yeah, it's, it's kind of put a damper on things in that direction. Wow. But know. I'm about to go on. I'm about to go on a month long tour in the Northeast. But I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. Bill, uh, was Carlton was telling me about the tour. How many dates uh, are you going to do, man? I don't know. Wherever they they pack me up and they <laughs> ship me. And then UPS or... <laughs> yeah. They ship me and then, I, and then I wake up in a new place. And I say, what is this place? Rock and roll. <laughs> what place is this? <laughs> I like hopefully, it. hopefully there'll be nice vaccinated people to come see. Yeah, it's a it's a different world these days. That's for <laughs> sure, man. <laughs> Very. Well, yeah, I felt like a hermit for two years now. Yeah, which is not a bad thing. A hermitage. Well, no, you could become a monk for a while, you know, and really study the yeah. inner self, you know. That's kind of what you had to do, or go nuts. Yeah, you either can, you know, you uh, can suffer in in misery or with grace, I guess, or if that's what you want to call it, suffering. Yeah. Whatever. Interesting. Um. So, oh, to, how about? Um. I know that there's some sadness surrounding the Plowboy release now, but how about the album? Tell us about it. How many songs are on it, and uh, what are the best songs that you think are on the album? Ten songs, and I barely remember them. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think we're doing a whisper live, and I'm certain of it. And uh, maybe the uh, well, the last song, the title song, the countdown. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, I like that one. That's the one we were planning on playing as soon as we are done talking with you, actually. I like it. It's a nice long cut, too, and it's just a good, solid tune, man. Yeah, it's outer space, man. Uh, do you make vinyl anymore? Is it just CDs and digital download, or is there any vinyl available? Not on this. I asked, but no. I couldn't, couldn't squeeze it in. Yeah. So Maybe in the future, it'll be printed up like some of the other things I've had done for Record Store Day. Yeah, those limited release r records are fun, man, for us collector geeks. Oh, they're, they're the best. They're great. Yeah. Yeah, I was discussing that yesterday. I think I, I, I enjoyed the old inserts that used to come inside all the albums with all the little uh -huh. goodies you'd get, you know? Right. Well, you know, back in those days, all you really got was the pictures on the sleeve and that was it you, you had to wait till they came around town and then you barely got to see them you know yeah in the audience it was just breathing it's over we're off to someplace else it's that i like that aspect of life 
Me too, man. I mean, you were back when, like, CBGB's was uh, first uh, doing its thing. You were, like, one of the very first acts to play there, correct? Yeah. One of the, not the, not the very first act, but the very first rock act, that's for sure. We had, like, uh, sort of a country-western uh, hillbilly music. <laughs> right. How dichotomous. Yeah. And we came in and we turned it into what it became. Wow. And the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, it, was a, it had a strong magnetic field, force field, and everyone around the planet and wanted to get in on that scene uh, came into that little nest. There were not just musicians, but there were artists of every kind. Actors, actresses, managers, uh, film people, magazines. Yeah. So, so much came out of it. Anyway. Yeah, lots of careers were developed in that little joint, man. <laughs> a lot of things happened because of those four walls. Right. Um, Wait, six walls. Oh, yeah, six. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about the, 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 the tour? I know you're, you said you're going on the East Coast tour. When do you start that again? Right. Let me look it up. Because uh, we've got a lot of East Coast listeners that do tune in. They'd probably love to know when you're playing. You bet. So would I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I admit, I'm even curious. <laughs> I just have to find the... Uh... If you're listening, you're tuned in to KSKQ Radio. We are talking with Richard Lloyd today on the phone. He's in Tennessee. We are in Ashland, Oregon. And uh, we're having a chat here at KSKQ on the Church of Rock radio show. So thank you for tuning in this evening. And you can go to kskq.org if you support community radio. Maybe it would be best to do some rock. Yeah, we could do some rock. Hey, what's your website? Do you have a website people could go to to get all that information? Oh, uh, my name. www.richardlloyd.com Boom. Yeah, that's... And uh, my book site, uh, everythingiscombustible.com Okay, that's even better because everyone, uh, no one's going to like write stuff down, but if they know where to go, they'll go there. So if you choose to, sure. RichardLloyd.com for all the info and probably dates and whatever else. And um, well, well, we'll, uh, go from there to the other website. Exactly, and cross-reference. What are you listening to these days as far as music? Do you find time to listen to a lot of tunes? Frankly, I'm in the, I haven't played guitar uh, with other people, you know, and because of this virus for like over a year. And I'm just preparing to do that. I'm not listening to much of anything unless it comes across uh, if I have social media as a background to what I'm doing. Understood. Well, I think we are going to roll into a tune called The Countdown. How did that name come about, by the way? How did the concept and name, what is that about? It's about what they say uh, before the blast off ah. in Rocketry. There you go, like 10, 9, 8. Come down to the blast yeah, off. Yeah, that's it. Um, anything that you'd like I to say? Wondered about, I, I always wondered about the... Uh, the final countdown from 10 to uh, 1, they're saying a lot of things, you know, on each number. But a lot of things are happening. So I always wonder about that. Like the ignition is a, something like 3, not 0. It's not like a firecracker. Well, yeah, each number is so contemplative. It's counting down almost so slowly and building up this anticipation at the same time. So uh, I, yeah. I see what you're saying. Well, that's kind of what the song does. The countdown, yeah. Excellent way to, uh, to provide an analogy for that. We appreciate it. We have Richard Lloyd on the phone and uh, from Tennessee. How are things down in Tennessee? Everything cool down there? Is it, is it crazy? Or what's happening because of COVID and stuff? 
I don't know anything about COVID. Uh, I'm vaccinated. My wife's vaccinated. Everybody we hang out with is vaccinated, so there's no problems there. I, I hear it on the news that there's a big problem and people not wanting to vaccinate and that we're in a uh, crossover state. I mean, there's nothing to be done about it, so we just go along our... Is the, music, is the music scene still thriving down there? Are they trying to find ways to keep all the open mics and all the different uh, venues going, or how does that work? Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's started yet. They just started uh, yeah. at the movie series, at the AAA, and uh, I think they're going to have Friday nights again. I did that once. Uh, it was a hoot. A uh, free concert. That would be fun. They ha- the library has a studio that pretty much in it. It's for kids, but it has top notch equipment. I made it in the hand if I can. Awesome. But I'm on tour from, uh, let's see, September 12th through October 5th. Something like that. Awesome. Though, find out more at richardlloyd.com if you choose to do so. Uh, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to join me and Tracy today, Richard, and I hope uh, you keep rocking for a long time, man. Uh, me so too. Richard. Thanks for the su- oh, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks so much. And uh, everyone, thank you for tuning in tonight. Bye-bye. Yeah, take care, Richard.